let's excuse the fact that I look like an egg. Um, I have a lovely job to do today. Um, this is basically my tech shed. It's in need of some TLC, so I thought, why not I record a few hours of uh, me painting and cleaning my tack shed so i hope you guys enjoy whilst i burn to a crisp and tire myself out for the day I sympathise with people who have kids, I really do. What are you doing, honey? Never buy a French Bulldog, people. You're worse than a child. Yeah, Tom. <laughs> First coat done. We've now got to clean the brushes, take everything out of the shed, clean them all, sort them all out. Um, and yeah, put them all back in, hopefully tidier. And get killed the dog. Are you tired? He's naughty, he had a heat stroke the other day. He's not supposed to be out. Not supposed to be out. And he is, so yeah. Get cracking with the inside now whilst the outside dries. Very long. So, oh my god, excuse the messy tack shed. Um, we had a leak, so as you can see, I had to put loads of wood shavings down. I need to sort through this huge pile of numbers. Pony things tend to be on this side. So these are the pony head colours, pony bridles, my things, spare things, Jim's bridles, and Jim's head colours. I actually need to search for the other helmet because I've lost a helmet. Um, my clippers, you can probably tell all my boots are just thrown in here. Obviously I've got my saddles. I need to go through all of these drawers because I've probably got a load of things I could sell to be honest. So, let's go. So, I'm now in my tap shed and um, to say I only cleaned it a couple of weeks ago, it's looking pretty grotty. Everything's in its right place, obviously I literally only cleaned it a couple of weeks ago. But there's like loads of spiders in here, so I don't actually know if I want to be in here. A load of my boots have been thrown in here. I've actually found like a load of Christmas stuff. Probably knowing me. Oh my God, I found my helmet. <laughs> oh. I can't believe it. There's been three weeks without my helmet. And I've just looked. Oh God, there's no spiders in it. Oh. Underneath things in my tax shed and I found it. Oh, there's some weird noises coming in here. Ugh. It's a bit grotty. Needs a clean. The whole place just needs like the walls brushed. I don't know if you can see there's like loads of like little tiny cobwebs, <laughs> big spiders. Um, so yes, I'm going to sweep the walls. I'm going to obviously sweep the floor. I'm gonna put salt down because there's like loads of slug trails. My bank holiday Monday is pretty set in a very different way. Normally I'd be out doing something, not, well, I suppose I am doing something. This is not what I'd normally do. Um, I can see like all my old showing white halters, um, basically loads of old things that I didn't even know I still had in this shed. Um, so, yeah, I think it's time to get cleaning. Hopefully I'll find my chaps. I've lost them. Again, something I've probably lost that's hidden in a tack shed, covered in spiders and cobwebs. So I'll check in with you guys later. Hopefully when this is all clean, maybe halfway through. Um, I will insert videos of it all, obviously. Um, yeah, I'm really sorry there's no horsey videos today, but my horses are on strike. I can't catch them. So <laughs> something we probably need to work on.
empty tuck shed. Oh my God, there's like a major echo, so I'm not gonna to talk too much in here, but yeah, empty. Open door. Um, Floors are grim. A giant spider. It was on my numbers. I'm hoping it's gone out of my numbers, so I feel like they're on me. Um, oh my God. They're like eating each other. Ew. So I'm gonna go glove up, mask up, because it's gonna be dusty. And I have got masks because I work in care, so they tend to just like pile up in my care. I need to brush all the walls, I need to brush all the roof and the walls. Um, I found an extra hook that I didn't know existed actually, so it's a bit of extra room. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Let's disturb the spiders, I guess. I've got my duster, disinfectant and salt. Let's kill the bugs. And clean the tax shed. Clean the tax shed. Kill the bugs. So, I just cleaned it all out, walls are brushed, floors are brushed. <laughs> it looks like if you're doing some kind of like witchy ritual, because you just literally have like a ton, and I mean a shit ton of salt. I'm not a witch, I wish I was, but I'm not. Um, it's because the slugs come in, I know it's really cruel, but salt burns them and i don't want slug trails all over my nice clean tack shed so every time i do clean it when i clean it uh, i do put salt down um and it kills them and i hate doing it but i only just killed about 100 spiders so right now i really don't care that i'm killing a slug i just want them out of my tack room there are baby spiders big spiders little spiders and little spider eggs so they're all dead Dogs coming. Hi, Tom. So now it's time to slowly start sorting through my things, bringing them back in. I'm really conscious that there are slugs and spiders all down my back, so I'm gonna get out, let it air a little bit, and then I'll come back with all my things. And I'll show you guys what I'm using gloves. Well, the reason I'm using gloves is because the paint on the shed is going all over my skin, and uh, yeah, it doesn't look very professional. I'm going back to work covered in brown paint. So yeah, bear with us, I'm uh, cleaning my tack, not really, I don't clean my tack very often, cleaning my tack shed, I don't do that very often either to be honest. Enjoy me sorting through my things and putting them in, I probably use about half of the drawers that I'm using at the moment because what I tend to do is just open the drawer and throw something in, um, so by the time they finish sorting them all out, they'll probably all fit into one drawer, yeah. <laughs> Got, I literally got shampoo for every colour horse. I think my horses have more hair products than everyone in my house has. It's not really saying which half of my house is bald. Oh my god, one of my numbers has actually still got this on it from Aldi. Oh my god. So we have my helmet hook, obviously my helmet's in the house at the moment, my head colour hook because it's always handy having them right where you need them because you never know when your horses escape, pony head colours, cobby head colours, these are actually all gems but we're going to say cob head colours because we're going to pretend that I have more than one. My high vis have moved down there just because they look a bit horrible in the middle of the tack room. 
sorted my numbers out. I've got Jim's competition ones, his jumping one, his showing one, the pony ones. I use that if I'm going like to the beach or something. My pony showing one, my pony dressage one. Jim's ugly old ones. Um, my air cool one, so he's on the horses, on the gym and the ponies. And then my pony ones just for around the farm. Hay net, back there. Spare girths and this, I can't say this thing. I think you put it around the rug, I think it's a surgical. My two saddles that I use just to potter about in. And my two better saddles. My boots and my whips are packed in there. Drawers are back where they were because they didn't look right anywhere else. Storm supplement back up there. It's the only actually one I've got at the moment. Competition head collars. Um, two for the ponies, one for Jim. Jim's bridles. Just look at this. Can you tell that I have a thing for pretty brow bands? And then pony bridles. I've got my pony showing one. I've got that pretty around the yard one with another look pretty brow band. Here is where my t uh, feed stuff is going to go. And yeah, that is my little shed completed. Ignore the boots, I didn't do them either. But they need a wash. Quite pretty. Looking better. So excusing the fact that I look really warm. Um, it's really hot outside. I finished. Everything's in its place and there's a place for everything for a change. And actually, for once, I have some empty space, which is where my feed bucket used to be. Not feed bucket, feed bin. Um, and because I'm going to be starting feeding the horses at the end of summer, probably after three summer, knowing me, that space is going to be quite useful. Um, I'm out of breath. Um, it's a bit weird having everything in the right place because I'm used to looking for them in the wrong place. Back shed. Cleaning. Complete. I even moved my numbers. Everything's looking really good. I found numbers that I didn't even know I had. All my competition numbers, the competition bridles, all my competition head colour. Really proud. No cobwebs ish. I mean, garden sheds are always going to be full of cobwebs, right? Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, really messy vlog. It's mainly just time ups. I promise I'll have a riding vlog soon or a riding video or whatever I feel like doing. I promise. Thank you guys for watching again and excuse the uh, state on me in my Batman t-shirt. And uh, once again, I got another pair of the GS Equestrian leggings because they are so comfy. Um, so I'll see you guys next time.